Welcome. I would like to firstly introduce you our university in Switzerland in science, technology and architecture and then introduce you the, the topic, the integrative risk, how the different risks and catastrophes are interlinked and depend on each other and that you cannot only think in silos but have to combine them. We have a university of 18,000 students. We uh, teach uh, German, the local language in the undergrad, but of the master and <coughs> the PhD all is in English. Uh, and so we attract also the best student of the world. Please come and join us uh, with your students. Uh, mathematics is a very important issue for all the study. 21 Nobel Prize winners uh, originated from Eteha, also mainly from immigrants. Uh, also in the, in the ranking, we are the best university outside the Anglo-Saxon world. People, of course, are connected. We have a bottom-up culture, uh, so each professor has to know his counterpart in different countries. This is mainly US, Europe, uh, and Asia. Also in this region, uh, Singapore is, uh, is a hub where we look at future cities developing only in Asia. So this is also a region where we are interested in. Here you see one of our infrastructure related to risk. This is a model of the flooding could possibly happen to our main railway station. That would be a disaster if it would be shut down. We have a very efficient public transportation system. Risk uh, has to do with money, with finance, with bank, with insurance, but it's not all about it. We have to be able to limit the risk and the spreading of risk, and uh, so that's why it is connected and how you can isolate if there are happened something like a breaking of a dam. We have a lot of hydropower. You build strong dams, but you never know if there's an earthquake. Is it stable enough? What happens if the dam breaks? So the probability has to be calculated and taken into account how much money we want to invest in, in the resilience of it. Nuclear power plant. This is a technical risk, and it also has to do with the human interface. Uh, the operator. Uh, make mistakes. Most of the accidents are happening early in the morning because operators are asleep uh, or didn't uh, operate uh, according to the program. Cities, uh, the dynamics of cities uh, is important. Uh, the flow of energy, of water, of people, and what is this connected to the hinterland. Uh, food production uh, has to be secured and has to be transported to the city. Also, this is a complex issue, and we will hear about uh, how to make cities resilient. Insurance companies ask the question, what is more costly, to prevent the risk or pay for the damage? And of course, this depends on the uh, frequency of the damages and the frequency of, of, of the event, and this is always not so easy. Terrorism, uh, if you want to have a business in a region of a country, you ask the question, is it safe to live there? I think safety is more important sometimes as taxes. Uh, safe life that you can move around. Uh, so also this uh, is an issue you will consider if you want to move your business a place. And climate change, it's not only bad for the local people, but uh, people will migrate, uh, have to escape from this region. So migration of uh, happening and this also to be considered. So resilience is something which means uh, if the disaster happens, can we localize it, keep it local? Does it happen a domino effect? Everything else in surrounding, in finances and in the social life. And uh, this is uh, the goal to have a resilient system and to understand how to make it. The Asian connection, uh, ETH Zurich has a risk lab in the making. Uh, we will start on 1st of October in Singapore and team up with a local university, NUS, NTU. And uh, the idea is also to have access to data uh, of the Asian region because data is important. So I wish you uh, four interesting talks uh, and uh, solving the problem with us later on. Thank you.